hello guys in this tutorial we're going to learn how to transform this image into this using camera raw filters and adjustment layer so let's get into it okay so this is the image so i'm going to delete all this since we're starting from the scratch and also we have this image so i'm going to walk you through how to use this object selection tool to remove this object from perfect selection let's go around it something like this okay so this is good all right so all we need to do is to add all right so we don't need it to be very perfect because most parts of the um the car is going to be hidden behind the boy so would you just do a little fine tuning so i'm going to select my brush reduce the size with the angle left angle brackets and then while i have the overlapping square set to white and then the opacity remember to set it to 100 percent okay so come over this part so the tires will be visible okay x to interchange this to switch rather you use x or d x and d okay we can use just x to to switch okay so I think this is this fine okay so we just fix this part as well okay there's a lot of shadows beneath the car so we'll leave it as it is and then we'll come over here we just fine tune this side okay so even though this place will be hidden we just tidy it up as well or we won't be too detailed about it okay so this amount is fine okay so I'm going to bring the car so before I do that I'm going to convert this to a smart object we just move it down here so the reason why we are convert we convert it to a smart object is because of scaling because some most times when you scale down and you scale up you get to, to lose a lot of detail so we're going to have this size about this size is fine okay so we we'll just turn it off so we'll come over to this image and then we're going to select the boy so you can use the pen tool but the pen tool would take quite some time but ideally to get a perfect selection the pen tool is always ideal so we're going to use this option make another attempt okay yep this is good we we'll just add mask to it or instead of mask since we need the background just press ctrl G okay so that is that is it so that's fine so we're going to bring the boy above the car in the hierarchy okay so we're going to work on these tones as well so we'll turn this off so we'll make sure we're selecting the image we'll come over to these tones okay so press ctrl g okay so that's fine we'll turn this back on bring the floating car down okay so i think the car is way too big so reduce it about this size is fine okay so we're going to bring this over here so arrange this car bring it around here ok 
okay so this is this is fine okay so now that we're done with this you can actually take your time to come and fine tune here okay so all we need to do now is to because the color tone for this image and this they are two different things so we're going to copy okay so we're going to steal the color gradient of this image and transfer it onto this image so let's do that quickly so i'm going to turn off a number of things here so we just have this turn of this image so we have just this on so we actually look at how we can do that in the previous in one of our videos so do well to watch that so let me go let me walk you through it so all you need to do is to export the color table so ensure you select save for web so that's the first step save for web okay so even though in the last in the last video this was misbehaving like we selected the entire 256 colors and we used three out of it because the program was misbehaving but now since it's working fine we're going to select just three okay so we're going to select save color table okay so we'll replace this so that's all we need to do here so we just close this we'll head over to rather we'll turn this on so we're going to add gradient map to this image so we're going to clip it because we're applying it to just this image so i'm going to select this okay so ensure your swatches is currently on so if you can see swatches all you need to do you go to windows and then select swatches okay so i have a ex import imported it before so if you want to import it you can just go ahead and go to import swatches ensure you check this option then select and add so you're going to see table 2 which is same thing okay so that's how you're going to import it into your your swatches panel so we're going to start with the shadow then this is the mid tone then this is the highlight okay so that's what we're going to do now so now that the gradient map dialog box is currently on i'm going to select the start with the darkest point which happens to be the shadow i'll head over to the highlight and select this okay so now what we'll be doing is this now take note of the brightness level this is 11 okay so i'm going to set this to 11 okay so this is 86 for the highlight select this and then put 86 so the last but not the least you can click on any point here it doesn't really matter the program will readjust itself because the brightness level of your mid-tone can never be greater than this and so it's going to come in between these two so even though you add it here so we're going to see that in a moment so we're going to select this okay so the brightness is 44 so you can see so just adjust it itself here which is fine so that's all we need to do okay so we're going to change the blending mode for the gradient map so we're going to come over here and then select soft light okay so the next phase is we're going to turn this off again all right so um we'll create a new layer up right above it okay and then we're going to select the darkest points which is this and then i'll pick the brush ensure you are painting it on the new layer layer you created i increase the size of the brush and ensure you're using hard round brush so we need to select this okay so so i'm going to use the eyedropper and pick the brightest points 
okay i'll pick that paint around here so now to get the mid-tones we're going to select this image that's this image okay that we are trying to steal the color grading from pick the image i'll head over to select no color range not this option sorry we'll pick select the image again go to select we'll pick um, color range so take put um take the fuziness back to zero and you can readjust this if you want okay so we'll just leave it at 167 or we can leave it like this okay so now we're going to get the average of this so to do that we're going to Ctrl J to get the selection out so when you turn this off so this is what you have let me turn this off as well this is what you have so to get the average for you to get the mid-tone it's you go to blow and select average okay so I'm going to use the color picker again so that's the step in getting the mid-tones turn this off select this pick the brush and then we're going to paint over it like this okay so we're going to turn this on again and the car as well turn this on okay so we're going to add curves all right so with the curves i'm going to select so ensure you are selecting this and ensure you clip it to this image okay so we're going to select this instead of max ensure you have this selected we'll start with the highlights okay so this is the highlights say no okay so we're going to pick the highlights okay so this is okay this is fine right so we'll go over to the shadow pick the shadow say no i was going to select the shadow right okay so now the last but not the least is the mid tone pick this so we're going to pick no so we'll look for any gray points okay all right so this is we just keep looking for it okay so this is fine so i'm going to work on the brightness level slightly okay this is it here let's say no okay I'm going to just make a slight adjustment to it so I'm just clicking on any points I feel will give me a good result. Hmm, it's too bright. this amount is fine so we we'll just leave it like as that I'm going to delete this I'm going to turn this back on okay so let's turn the cup off and see so we we'll just turn it down okay something about this amount 60 okay so i think this is good enough so we'll move this slightly we'll move this slightly like so okay so this is good so the next phase is to add blur to it so but before then i'll need to merge all this layer 
into a single layer so to do that i'll hold ctrl shift alt and e okay so now we've merged it so i can close this so it's now just a single layer okay so now that we we have this so i'll i'm going to convert i'm going to come over here convert it to a smart object head over to filter go to blur gaussian blur 12.5 is fine okay so now the essence while we converted it to smart object is for us to be able to see this so if you fail to convert it to a smart object you will be able to see the mask so ensure you do that so i'm going to select the mask i'm going to pick my brush okay so i just want the boy to be in focus so i'm going to reduce the opacity for us to have um, a smooth selection okay so i just want the boy to be in focus so the car and other item will just be in the background okay so this is good okay so the next thing we're going to do it's um we're going to rasterize this again because we're going to add um camera filter we'll rasterize and convert to smart objects okay so the reason is because i added gaussian blur i will need to rasterize it then convert it again so then before heading over to else camera filter will just pick the gaussian instead of this image okay so we're going to start with the basics so i'm going to increase the tone slightly you have to be careful when you're working on this so i'll leave the tint as it is exposure this amount is fine contrasts okay so the highlights all right so this highlight is good enough so the whites okay and reduce this step this down i'm going to increase the texture this amount is fine head over to clarity okay dehaze let's see okay so this amount is fine so i'm now going to increase the vibrance i'll leave it as it is so we'll see some other options so i'll leave the cough we'll go to split tones okay let's increase the hue let's leave it at here and then let's increase this slightly this is much so let's play around with the balance okay so i'll leave that as it is then i'm going to select effects to for me to use the vignette vignette option i'm going to bring this down okay so this is more or less the last phase of our work okay i think i need a bit of vibrance okay so this is <coughs> fine okay all right so we are almost done you can see this is the result we're getting okay so if you still want to um, increase the, the boys exposure you can use your cuffs add cuffs to it then increase the brightness this amount then control i to hide and then use your brush to brush over it okay use x to make it visible okay so um ensure you're not using your hard brush to make to brush on the boy else you're going to get a bad result so something about this amount is fine all right so there you have it this is the end result so see you guys in the next